Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is October 31st, Halloween, and we're back with a very special video today. I want to do Wordle, Dirtle, Quirtle, and Octurtle, all the way up to Octurtle for October, uh, as a Halloween special today, and we're going to spin the wheel. I've loaded up with uh, six Halloween words here that we're going to uh, choose for each puzzle. We're going to spin every time. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited to do this, so... Uh, without further ado, let's jump in. If you have not liked or subscribed, please take a moment to do so. It does help me out a lot. Uh, but for now, let's get into today's puzzle. Our Wordle word is going to be... Spook. All right. The funny thing about spook is that if it doesn't work out very well, I have... Oops. A do to follow that up. All right, we do have a P. Um, our Wordle Word of the Week is a do, and it is a great way to follow it up because Spook only has O's in it. Ooh, interesting. Uh, AP, we're going to have to have either another A or another Y or both um, in here somewhere. No, we could have something like a part. We could have something like apply. Uh, what are other options? Let's try and find this out. Um, so APR is not going to be a thing. Uh, Apple is not going to be a good word here because we don't have an E. I'm pretty sure we're down to just those two words. I may be wrong there. Uh, so, uh, let's go with apart first. Okay, no. Uh, it is not applied, but it is very, very similar to that. The word is going to be aptly. There we are, all right. Nice four for that. Let's uh, check out our Wordle bot before we move on to our next puzzles. Uh, I'm going to have to reframe a lot of these. There are a few with ads in them that I don't, don't like to uh, include in there unnecessarily. So let's first jump in here. Analysis, 89 scale, 48 luck. Spook, um, 94 luck despite only getting a P. But that did narrow it down to just 11 words, which is kind of crazy. A do down to three words, a part down to one. Let's find out what those three words were. Aptly, apart, and apply. The three that, uh, the two that we listed and the one that ended up being. So we, uh, <coughs> we thought we had a 50-50, guessed wrong. Went with the other one. Um, oh no, we, we found the T first. So we didn't have to go with apply because we knew it was going to be aptly at that point. So, low skill early on, didn't like spook, didn't like ado. Um, ripen would have been better. And then apart, you know, it, you're down to, you're, you're down to a one in three guess there, so that's perfectly fine. Wordlebot, slate, getting a lot of those letters in. Taint a very good next one, getting, um, testing out where that A goes and throwing two T's in there. Not in that fourth position. Uh, aptly kind of skipping past the apply trap that might have shown up because of the T. Uh, and getting by the apart trap because of the, uh, getting this, the second T ruled out in uh, Taint. So, yeah, a really great combination there between those two to lead right to it. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to move on to our daily dirtle, which I need to reframe once again. There we go. And jump back here. Pass by spook and find out what our next Halloween word is going to be for our dirtle. Be trick or treat? No, haunt. Not quite there. Haunt. 
haunt is going to be our word there. Uh, dirtle, let's get this reframed here. All right, haunt. Our first word. Uh, getting a U out of that, that's quite useful. Um, where do we think this is going to go? Let's try some, uh, well, where there's a U, there's always a, uh, a risk of a Q. So let's throw a Q in there and put the U second. Um, how about the word quite? Move that T over. Okay, no. Uh, we did find the U. We didn't find where the T goes, but there is an E. So. I want to try and fill in a little more on this second puzzle here. Um, I'm thinking something like the word bulky. Let's just throw it in there. All right, we do have a really nice structure there. I think it might be a double L, honestly. Um, oh, and we have an L over here, too. So if uh, if we can use puzzle one to figure out where this L goes, and if the L goes uh, fourth in puzzle two as well, I think that'd be very nice. <clears throat> what, uh, I guess we could probably test the double L in both of them. But I don't think with that T there, we can go through our tells. How about that? Okay. <clears throat> so what are the words we have left here? Pulley, dully, gully. I should be uh, typing these out. P, D, G. Fully. I don't think anything on the bottom row there. That's uh, quite a few consonants that really don't go together in a good guess. So, what are we thinking for puzzle number one here, then? I was thinking steel, but we don't have an S. We could do something like... Um, um, let's see. This T has got to go... Basically, I don't think the T is going to go second. Because what would go before it? It would have to be a vowel. I don't see it being E, T, you know, E, L something. So, I think this T has to go in the middle. Which means the E would go next. Uh, let's try the word motel. Okay, not quite. So, E goes first. We are going to lose this puzzle. There's no way I'm going to go back and be able to test all of these consonants in time and get the first and second ones. So, E doesn't go second or fourth, it goes first. That means O goes fourth. We have E blank T O L. Um, and I think extol is the only word that works. So, we do have that one. We have a chance here. But again, we have not tested any of those that we, we mentioned earlier. Uh, we still have pulley, dully, fully, and gully. And we're just going to have to pick one. Um, 
might as well go with the first one that we typed in. Nope, it was fully. Okay, extol and fully. Uh, just a little too many in there. So, that's it for the dirtle today. Let's go back to our spinner and find out what our quirtle is going to be. We've had haunt. Now we have trick. Okay, trick is our quirtle word for the day. Let's get that annoying little uh, ad out of there. And uh, go with trick. Ooh, a wonderful first guess here. Look at how much information that gave us. Question is, with so much, where do you start? The one that's actually most interesting to me right now is Puzzle 3. If that I doesn't go third, where would it go? Um, R... We couldn't have something else here unless it was like EI. And that's really not common. So I think we're going to have the I first, which means the most likely word is irate. Okay, not true. Also, we didn't find any A's. So, what is next? So, what if we did blank R T I blank? We've got to have how about OIT? Something like Droit? No. I'm spending a lot of time on this. It's going to be the word orbit now. There we go. Okay, a lot of time on that. Luckily, it did give us a lot of information. Uh, we have four letters in Puzzle 1. We have... Uh, four letters in puzzle two, and we have three letters in puzzle uh, four. So, although I spent a lot of time on that, I don't feel like it was entirely wasted. So what can we do with this? We do have an I word here. Where would this R go? I'm either thinking it's going to be an ER or ED. Something like this. I'd really like to put that R second, but it does not go there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything off the bat. So, maybe that is not how it's going to go. I, D, E, blank R. Let's come back to that. I'm not seeing it right away. How about... Puzzle two, or not a e. The word birth, perfect. Okay. Um, we also have our structure for puzzle four. That would be blank e t c h. That leaves just fetch. Lovely. 
Okay, we are back to uh, back to our first puzzle. Now, have not learned anything new about the structure really, except that R doesn't go in the middle. E doesn't go second, but that was fairly obvious to me. Uh, let's see. So I D. E-R. Um, how many combinations are there actually left? At least assuming that we're going to put an X where and not have any repeats. There's only 12. Uh, no, that's not true. There's 24 combinations. 2 times 3 times 4. So, and we've eliminated quite a few of them. Where this R has to go. I just really don't see it. If the R goes there, it would have to be ER here. And where do we put this D? That doesn't work. So... Okay, what was that assumption? If the R goes fourth, it has to be this. And then we'd have a D here. Something like inert, but doesn't that's not that's not working here. Um so that really shows me that the R does not go there. I think the R is going to go last, which really, really makes me think that it's going to be ER. Oh, how about this? I would not have thought of this, but idler. Is it someone who idles or someone who's more idle? Like a comparative adjective here? Someone is idler, someone else is idler. Uh, let's click on this, I want to find out. Uh, one who spends time idly, an idle person. Idlers that are free to turn around, okay. So, a, th a person or object that that does the idle uh, verb. This pound that comes out. Cool, a uh, little bit tricky there. But great in the end, four, five, six, and seven for today's puzzle. Now, we have one last one, and I'm going to remove this little block to get rid of those. Uh, we have Octurtle, and I do have to reframe this again. Because there are eight puzzles that need to fit in that window. And I'm going to find some way to... There we go. Okay. Eight puzzles that need to fit there. Perfect. Okay. So, one last thing we need to do. Come back here, spin the wheel one last time for today's Halloween lineup. We are now into Octurtle for October. We had Trick, and we're back to Haunt. Okay. Really hoping we'd have trick and then end up with treat, but this is cool too. Haunt. All right, puzzle two here. You. It has the C there. The 
don't I'm not thinking it's gonna be CH here. I think it's gonna be CH at the beginning. So CHU um chunk is not an option. Neither is churn for the same reasons. Let's go with the word chugs. Okay. We have an O-U-G-H word then. So we have... Uh, that is our structure for puzzle number two. We either have rough or dough or bow. Let's keep those in mind here. Rough, dough, bow. And I think that's it. Okay. <clears throat> we also are going to throw a O in there because that'll just help everybody else. Um, but I think if we can do... How about the word bider? We're already going to throw an O in when we figure out which one this is. Okay, so this is the word bow. Uh, as I was saying, we're already going to throw an O in the second position here. So I might as well throw in an I and an E as I'm going fishing for consonants and find the rest of these. So now we've locked in bow and it was we, we did find an O eventually. We have a O, U, and an I in this puzzle here. That's interesting. Huh, number eight is going to be really interesting here. What do we assume is going to be the next best one to try? Puzzle one looks interesting, too. Usually, if you would have uh, U and an E, you would have something like the word tunes. But we don't have an E in that fourth position, so... Would we have like a UE word or something like rebus? That's not an option anymore. So either T E blank U S. Or T T U E Aha D U E T S Duets. No, not duets. Um, okay. So that's interesting. Now, you, you has got to go next to the S there. There's no way, because if we're starting with U, then the only place for that next to the E is to go here. And then T, but there's not a word that's going to do that. So, that means that U goes next to the S. So we have blank E. Oh, we have the word fetus. That's what it is. Okay. Now, we've guessed a lot of consonants here. Let's show up here and look at some of these. Uh, what this might be. The S not being at the end of either one of these puzzles, four or five, is really interesting to me. So what I think we're going to have is something like the word clasp for number four, and we do. Okay. That's also going to help lock in some of the structure of puzzle number five here. And I think we're just going to look at the word slick. This this looks like it's going to be a nice and easy one to fall into place, and it certainly does. Okay. Now, coming back, we have... Puzzle three. It's got to be skill, right? There we go. Okay. 
Now everything should be falling into place. Uh, puzzle five here. That R most likely goes second. It looks like it's going to be the word crimp. No, it can't be because we don't have an M. We ruled that out already. Did we? No, we have not ruled that out. Crimp it is. Okay. So P, L, and E we need to uh, place in puzzle 7. That looks like the word lapse. Uh, and then finally, we do have our O, U, and I word. Uh, we've actually seen this word once before. It threw me off by quite a bit. I think it actually might have caused me to lose a wordle. This is the word opium. All right, so we have a four, a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Yep. All right, I haven't done a turtle in quite a while, and that was quite a bit of fun. Um, yeah, it's it's really interesting where you go and guess, and even though you're going down a, a rabbit hole, you are in, unveiling some information somewhere. There's just statistically too many options here to not be um, finding something as you're guessing through those consonants. As long as you're not just stuck in a um, a loop where you're changing around the same five letters over and over and over again, as long as you're adding some letters, you're going to be helping some puzzle one way or the other. So... Yeah, once uh, once you really start knocking them down there, so bow was close, but then, yeah, once we get down to fetus here, uh, everything was in a row. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This was very fun. Uh, hope you really enjoyed our Halloween treat. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a long video, but I think it was very fun and uh, to do something a little different. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone you think enjoys some daily word puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.